Hello, my fellow sparklers. Um, I have a fan sales unbagging today. Um, this was actually an order of five. I had two big ones that, that will be a separate video. Um, just because there's so much to unwrap here. So we're going to dig into these. I'm already disappointed in one because as you can see, it's clear. Um, so I can see the drills. And these were supposed to be crystal drills, which I'm going to post a picture here of what was advertised um, and why I thought they should be all crystal. Um, I have contacted fan cells, um, so I'm waiting to hear back to see what they'll say. And um, hopefully they will send me crystal drills because I would not have ordered this painting. Um, just some regular drills. It's a beautiful picture. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it in regular drills, but I paid more for this than for one of my big paintings. Um, so I'm going to open this one first just so we can get the disappointment out of the way. It's actually nicely rendered, um, although as you can see, <laughs> no supportive packaging. So this will need a lot of flattening because um, it's really crinkled up. So um, here we have the image. We have to anchor it with these other paintings. It's so rolled up. You can see it's like an accordion, a crinkly accordion. Um, it's a beautiful picture. This is um, part of the Constellation series that they have on their website. Um, and this is Leo, uh, obviously. I'm a Leo. I love it. I love the beautiful blues and the teal and the sky and the girl standing there um, with her scarf blowing in the wind. Um, it, it's just a nice dynamic picture and not like a standard Constellation um, Zodiac picture. Um, oh, let me get my measuring tape. Hold on. Um, so as you can see here, see if you can read that. Um, it's 67 by 47. So I'm going to measure it. I'm sure it's not quite that. Coming this way. We're, let's go up a little bit. Um, looks like 39 and a half centimeters so just over seven shy that way and this direction is 58 and a half so again just uh, seven and a half centimeters shy both directions um, so that makes it about a 40 by 60 which is a good size it's a really good size for this painting I paid $12 for this um, which, like I said, is more than I paid for one of my big paintings that cost $10 for a three panel. <laughs> so I definitely wouldn't have paid that, um, given this site's pricing for other stuff, if, um, I had known they were not going to send crystal drills. Hopefully they will send me crystal drills though, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, let me get it closer. So you can see it's, um, nice clear symbols. They've done a good job of uh, putting white writing on the background where it's dark and dark writing on lighter colors. Um, no DMC codes. So you see the whole thing there. Um, no DMC codes on the bags either. Which I will show you. So. Lay all flat. It's not going to lay up. This needs like so much TLC to lay flat. I don't think it needs ironing, just heavy bugs. Standard toolkit. I'm not going to, I'm not going to wrap these drills, but they will be crinkly. And there you go. You can see there's no crystal drills in here anywhere. Not even like some of them. Um, they look like nice colors for what they are, but I really think this painting should have been like a few bucks less if it wasn't have crystal drills. So again, we'll see what they say and um, come back to this. 
I'm not sure I want to do it in resin. Uh, I think I would find it somewhere else in crystal because that's what I wanted. So never settle for less. All right, let's move on to the others. Okay, so now we have this one. Um, fairly small, standard shipping. Um, nothing to support it inside other than drills. So, and this is my bird painting that I ordered. Um, it's pretty cute. Oh, come on. Cooperate. Um, you can see here it doesn't list a size. It's supposed to be a 30 by 40. And here, I'll show you. Um, again, no DMC codes, just numbers and letters, but clear printing. Nice clear background. Um, this would be easy to work up. I wish the birds had more detail. Here's a thumbnail. And there we go. Um, so in this size, like if this were proper 30 by 40, I think the birds would look a lot cuter. But you can tell what they are. They're birds hanging out on some peaches. No surprise. Um, is there a toolkit? We're going to measure it. Let me anchor it down. I can promise this is not 30 by 40 drill fill. No, in fact it is not even 23 by... Not even 33. About 32 and 3 quarters. So that's more than 7 centimeters off of each side. I just, you know, I get saying what the canvas size is, but if the margins would be kind of standardized, that'd be great because I don't know uh, how much they're going to take off, whether they're going to take 10 centimeters off the side. I mean, it's a big difference. Seven centimeters is not a small difference. Like three, yeah, okay. Three centimeters for a margin, I can take. Seven's a lot, but it's still cute. You know what they are. It's just a quick snack. Um, it might be a gift for my grandmother. We'll find out. Let's look at the drills. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let me cut these up. I did cut these up. I actually filmed this last night and my camera just wouldn't focus and show the drills well, so um, they did not. They came in one long train. They did not come like this, but it's a bit easier to show. So there's a nice medium lavender, a rosy red, um, a darker lavender, and kind of straight up lavender. Um, yeah, there you go. That's better. Okay. So this is the blue color I expected most of the birds to be. Obviously those lavender colors are for the birds, so they're going to be more purple than I expected from the pick. Which I'll put up an original pig too. That thumbnail wasn't great. Um, kind of a golden yellow. I think this is for the basket at the bottom. Nice sagey green color. There's a lot of nice greens in this. I really like the green background. A nice leafy green. Kind of a light stone gray. A deep peachy reddish color. And deep peachy orange. Oh, bubblegum pink. I call this one ballerina pink. Uh, could be a light peach. Yeah, light peach. I'm going to go with light peach. This looks almost black. It's really, really dark green. And here we have um, just straight up dark green instead of really, really dark green. Dark brown. Regular brown. I love this um, sort of sagey mint green, a light sage, I guess. That's a lot of the background color. It's really nice. And kind of a regular forest green here. And then we have a nice leaf green, a lot of that, and um, a vibrant peach color. So that's the drills for this. The drills look nice. Um, I don't see a lot of divots. 
I don't see any obvious trash. They don't look oily. Um, they don't look oily or staticky. So they look pretty good. I'm happy enough with that. I mean, with these sites, you always know the 30 by 40 is not going to be 30 by 40. Okay, there's the last one I was using as an anchor. I will just take a look at this. I kind of forgot all that I ordered. <laughs> yes, this is a seasonal one. So um, this one does list the size. Yay. Um, but still no DMC codes. So kind of how they roll out. All of these are poured glue, which is nice. Um, I guess that's why they feel they can pack them more cavalierly because um, it can... Poured glue can take more abuse in terms of shipping and spring back. So, um, nice clear drill filled. Uh, lighter printing where there's darker colors and darker printing where there's lighter colors. And um, I just like this. I thought it was so cute. This lady in her green dress with her little, um, if you can see it, she's got a little cat hanging out with her. I might use some ABs for those eyes. Um, but and maybe for the jack-o'-lantern in the moon. We'll see, it's cute. Uh, definitely something to do and hang up when it's Halloween time. I like having Halloween decorations. Um, like I said, uh, this was packed more neatly, um, but I was trying to film it last night and just not having any luck. So, uh, here are the drills. They come in baggies, and we'll take a closer look at them. The 19 colors. Oh, quick measurement, quick measurement. Again, pretty sure this is not 30 by 40. We're faring a little better than the burns. It's 24 and a half by, there we go, um, 34. So six off the long side and five and a half off the short side. So that's, I mean, better than seven. Anything. A seven is so much. I'm like, five should be the maximum your margins are. Um, so it's cute. Again, you get the picture, but it does lose detail at this size. But I think it's still fun. Okay. Should I bother going in order and finding the numbers? No, I'm just going to go as is. Can we sit down here. And other girls. So hold it down here. There you go. Hold it down. Okay. Really nice pink. Uh, looks like it goes around the moon and maybe some of this um, kind of plant stuff over here. Orangey. Kind of a deep reddish orange. Um, not unexpected for Halloween. Nice. Uh, it's a stone gray. Kind of a brownie gray. Here's a lighter version. Nice vibrant green. Pretty sure that's not all the green in her dress. Um, but there's not a lot of greens. Oh, I expect more greens. Wow. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Hope that's enough. Um, this looks oh, like the birds. This looks like really, really deep green. I don't think it's black. Oh no, you know what? It's a really deep gray. Dark, dark gray. Nice plummy color, really pretty. Nice medium gray. It was slate blue, that's a really nice color. I like that. Uh, deep brick red. Nice dusty pink. Kind of more pinks and less greens than I thought. That'll be interesting. Looks like navy blue. Uh, maybe a royal blue or a light navy. This is kind of a greeny gray. It looks more stony in person. I might be coming up more green on the camera, but definitely in the gray family. Ochre yellow. Ooh, a deep plum. Very nice. I wonder if that's 550. Dark brown. 
tree, I think, in the back. Who knows? Three is probably 310. It looks straight up black. And number three is about the number where 310 tends to fall. And finally, this nice dusty plum. That's light dusty plum. That's what I'm calling it. Anyway, those are the drills for this. Um, cute painting. Uh, so it was $7 for the 30 by 40s and then $2 shipping. So it's not the cheapest bargain I've gotten, but they are poured glue. They came fairly quickly. Um, it, I think it took about a month. And um, so it's decent quality. Um, but when I post the ones of my larger paintings, honestly, I think you're getting more for your money because they're not that much more. They're, they're not even twice as much and you get so much more painting. But that's for the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this and tune in next time when I unbox my large fan sales paintings and keep on sparkling. So fan sales did get back to me. They were at least good about that. And the first thing they tried to tell me was that those were resin drills in the picture and that they were just enlarged and beautified. And I was like, no, don't be ridiculous. The second thing they did was offer me 5% off or to return the painting at my own expense, um, both of which I did not think were fair offers and I told them as such. Um, and then they did finally refund me, um, which was good, and they actually changed the Leo listing like you see here, but all of the other paintings in the Constellation line still have the rhinestone pictures, so people are still going to be ordering this expecting there to be rhinestone drills and they're going to come with regular resin drills, so I still think they're going to have trouble with this, but that's their problem. Uh, I tried to warm them. They do actually sell full crystal rhinestone pictures. Um, Natalia at Lovecraft Forever unboxed one. This is one that's supposed to be all rhinestone and what she unboxed was crystal drills. So I'm not sure why they're not doing it with the constellation ones that show the crystal drills. But when, whatever, buyer beware, if it has pictures of crystal drills does not mean that it comes with crystal drills. Write to them and ask them. Because the description also did not say resin, it said magic uh, square diamonds, which is kind of weird. Um, so that's my take on it. I'm not sure that I would buy from them again just because... I can't trust their listing to be what it says it is. And also, um, I found their painting sizes to be quite small. To take off more than five centimeters from the painting size is a lot, and um, that was disappointing. But the big paintings were a good deal. So take what you need from this. I hope it helps some of you, and keep on sparkling. <laughs>